good morning uh, i'm raji and i'm working as assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering and today i'm going to take uh, the topic of equivalence of dfs so here we are going to see how we are going to minimize the number of state in dfs right so we'll see when we call uh, two dfs to be equal so we call two states to be equal only uh, based on the string that is going to be accepted or the string that is going to be rejected so now we say that two states p and q are equivalent only if any string w which is accepted by an dfa starting with the starting state p is also accepted by a dfa which is has the starting state as q then we call that both the dfas to be equal so only when the same string is being accepted by the dfa which starts with p and which starts with q then we call that the state the dfas p and q are equal so the other condition that we have is like so any string uh, w it can also be rejected by uh, starting at p and it is also rejected by starting at q then also you can call it as p uh, the dfa starting with p and the dfa starting with q both are equal so you can call in that way now we we'll go for an algorithm where you can you will be able to determine whether the two uh, the dfas are equal or you can try to minimize the number of state to the dfa so in the algorithm we call it as table filling algorithm so where we have a table and we have the states in both uh, horizontal and vertical way so when i have the states so i am going to try to minimize the number of states that is available right so now what i am going to do is the first very first step that i am going to have in the dfa is i have a diagram like this the table filling algorithm in this table i am going to take a and till it h so what are the states that i have a b c d e f g and h so i write all the states in this horizontal way starting from up to down it, it should not be written in the reverse like not from uh, bottom to top no top bottom up approach it will be only from the top down part so you are going to start from the uh, top a b c d e f g and h similarly when you go for the vertical way you take it as a b c d e f g and h starting from left to right now i have finished all the so when you take the cars it should not be repeated again so you you can consider like this a comma b so here a and a it is almost equal right so the diagonal and the diagonal becomes equal so only one half of the uh, only one part either the top of the uh, table or the down the, this part alone has to be filled why because here you can see so what is this particular cell represents it is b comma a or a comma b whatever you tell and here what will be the same thing a comma b and b comma a the same repetitions will be there so this diagonal separates the table into two half where the first half exactly represents the second half also so what we try to do here we just represent only the first half only so now we will see the first step what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the pair of all the states with the accepting state what are the accepting states here only one accepting state we have it is e alone right so it will be a comma e b comma e c comma e d comma e and when you go e comma e it is going to be equal so what i do is i go for the next part g comma f g comma f so g comma e and h comma e which means i am going to pair all the other states with the final state that is the very first step so i am going to mark all the pairs which is going to have like one accepting state and the other one is non accepting state so since we have only one accepting state in all this e we have e comma a comma e b comma e c comma e d comma e and so on right now we we'll move on to the next step so the next step it is like one hop away from the distinguishing state it means that i am just going to compare all the other pairs with respect to 
what I do is first thing that I am going to do is I am going to match with the pass. So A comma B. So now find the transitions for A. So what is the transition for A? If it is 0, it goes to C. And if it is 1, it goes to B. So this doesn't lead to the final state B. And now with, with which state you are going to pair this? With B. And so check for B. For B, if it is 0, it goes to H. And if, if the other thing, it goes to D. So the, here also, it is not going to be the final state. So this is not going to be there with the final state. Right? So the next thing that I am going to have is, I am going to have the pair A, comma C. For A, as we have already seen, it is not going to reach the final state. So we will check for the other pairs. So what is there with the state C? So check for the state C. So when it is state C, if it is 0, you go for F. And if it is 1, you are able to reach the state, final state E. It means that you are able to reach, so this you will not be able to distinguish the states A and C. So we mark C as the uh, mark. So now go for the next pair, A comma D. And now for A, when you check, if it is 0, it goes for C. And when it is 1, it goes for D. So again here, it, is, it doesn't reach the final state. And check for uh, D. D, when it is 0, it reaches the final state. It means you are able to reach the final state. So I mark this part also as mark 1. And go for F now. And for F, when the transition is on to 0, you go for F. And when the transition is on to 1, where is the transition to 1? It is to state B. It means you are not able to continue to the state uh, E from F. So we are, it means that we are not able to reach the final state from the state F. So I am not going to mark anything there. And what is there with respect to G? We go for G here. So from G, if it is 0, you go to the final state. And if it is 1, you go to the non-final state. It means from the state G, you are able to reach the non-final state. So I am going to mark it as neutral. Similarly, go for A and H. So when you go for H, when it is 0, you go to F, and when it is 1, you go to the state E, which means you will be able to reach the final state. So here, this also I am going to mark. So now here, what I am going to consider is like, I am going to take set of pairs like A comma C, A comma D, A comma G, and A comma H, and find the transitions for those pairs, and those pairs are already marked in the table. Right? In the previous step, what we have marked, only these states. If the resulting transitions is already there in the marked state, what you can do is you can mark these uh, transitions also as to be marked. Like they, they are not, they cannot be distinguished. Like they cannot be uh, made equal. Like the state A and C are not equal. And the state A comma D is also not equal. The state A comma E is also not equal. And so on. So now what we do is we have taken uh, the set of paths with, with the state A. Now we repeat this until we go for finish for all the other paths. Now the, in the second step what I do is I, I pair all the other states with the state B. Okay. So with the state B I am going to pair now. Same with the state B. We check. For B it, uh, when it is 0 you go to state H and when it is 1 you go to the state D. So you can see that you will not be able to reach the final state with respect to B. So what I do is again I continue with the all the other pairs like B comma if it is B comma C we know that from B you are not able to reach. Similarly, if it is B comma D we know that we are not we are not going to reach the final state from B. Similarly, in G from F and G and H the same thing happens. So what I'm going to do is instead of checking for all the states like B now I'm not going to repeat uh, the checking process for B. I'm going to just check only for the other states. Now check for C. Then I am going to check for the state C. So what is the transition on 0? For transition on 0 it is F. And when it is the transition to 1, it is going to be E. Right? So here F belongs to a non-final state. And what is E there? It is a final state. Right now? So we are going to have the final state there. So which means even if from B you are not able to reach the final state. But within the pair B comma C, we are able to reach a final state from C. Right? So I am going to mark that state to be not distinguishable. You cannot distinguish B and C. You cannot make B and C to be equal. They are indistinguishable. They are distinguishable states. Right? 
So I'm now go for the next para B comma. So the transition for B on zero is going to be H, and the transition for uh, one on B is going to be D. And what are the states that we are going to reach? It is H and D. So again, this it is not going to be the final state. We are not going to reach the state E from D. Right? So you are not going to do that. And now go for the next state. Um, G, right? F we have to calculate. So from F, so this is the transition here. What will we do? So from F, if it is zero, we stay in the same state, which is not a final state. F is not a final state, right? And when it is one, what happens from F to B? You have what state? One. So again here, we are going to reach the state B, where this is also not going to be a final state. So the, even that is not a final state. So you stop with that. So it means. If from B also you are not able to reach the final state, from F also you are not able to reach the final state. So you don't mark this here. You don't mark D2 in this particular step. Right? Now go for the next pair. Next pair is going to be B, G. So when it is B, you go for the transitions like for 0 it is H and 1 it is D. And H and D are not the final state. Right? H and D are not final state. So what is the next state in the pharma? The next state in the path it is B comma H. So now we go for B here. Okay. So and B from here again if it is 0 you go to the state H and if it is 1 it goes to the state D. So H and D again they are not going to be the final state. And what is the other path that you have here ma? The other path that you are going to do this, it is uh, H, right? What are the states, uh, what are the transitions that you can have while going for H? If it is H, the transition is like for 0, it is to F and for 1, it is to E. So E is a final state, which means right, from the state H, you are able to reach the final state, right now. So now uh, we have made and now we will go for the next half. Like the next thing it is, we are going to pair all the states with the state C. So, which we have already done, we are not going to uh, repeat. So, now uh, we will go for C. So, now uh, take a look why you don't go for A comma C here. So, A comma C, when you go like this, A comma C, it is already, you have a pair here. So, C comma A. So, that is why you don't uh, uh, consider this set. Similarly for B comma C. B comma C, this part is also already present, so I, there is no need to consider this part also. And C and C is equal to C. Obviously, two states, the names itself indicate C and C is going to be equal, so C is equal to C. And you know we are going to start with the pair D. Right? C is equal to D. Now check with the transitions for C and D. For C, when it is 0, you go for F. And for D, when it is 0, you go for E. So in other cases, you can tell that for the same uh, input, you should have the same transition. Right? So from A, like what is the transition that I am going to have? It is C. From C, if it is 0, you are going to have F. So and from D, if it is going to be 0, you go for E. Right? So in this pair, from C, I am able to read the state E on reading the input 1. And from state D, I am able to reach the final state again. So I can mark it as C comma D. And the next state it is C comma F. Just check here for C, when it is 0, it is going to be F. And when it is 1, you are going to go to the state E. Which means you are able to reach the final state. So I am going to mark it as reachable state. Now the next part is C comma G. And from C, if it is 0, you are going to go to F. And if it is 1, you are going to go to the state E. So this pair is already there. And let me check for G also. For G, if it is 0, you reach E. And if it is 1, you are going to reach F. So here you can take a look like from C also, you are able to reach the final state E. And from G also, you are able to reach the final state E. So I am going to mark it as 1. And now I am going to go for the next pair, H. Right? 
And here you can easily note from C what are the transitions that you have marked. So 0 it is F and 1 it is E. So the transition is like F comma E for 0 comma 1. The same state, right? F comma E for C. On reading the input it is 0. On reading the input 1 it is E. And the next pair it is H. So read H. If it is 0 you go for F. And if it is 1 you go for E. Right. So now what are the transitions mark for C it is if, uh, 0 comma 1 like that let me let us have that pair like 0 comma 1. Upon C when the input is 0 comma 1 you go for F comma E. Like whichever is for 0 you mention first and whichever is 1 for 1 you mention on the later part. So because the input we write it as 0 comma 1. So the transition for 0 comes first and the transition for 1 comes later. So here you have it as f comma e. So c is equal to zero comma c is equal to zero comma one, which is equal to f comma e. So now we do follow the same procedure for the state h also. Right? When h is equal to zero comma one, what are the transitions that we have from h? When you have the transition from zero, you go to the state f, and when you read the transition for one, you go to the state e. Right, so it will be means from H if it is zero comma one, it is going to be F comma E, and for C also for zero comma one, it was F comma E. Right, for the same input, you are going to have the same transition, so we mark it as C is equal to H. So let me repeat that again. So just take a clear look from C. What are the transitions that you have marked for zero? It is F. The pair what you are going to have it is C comma H. For C, if it is 0, you go to F. And from H, if it is 0 also, you go to the same state, F. Right? For the transition 0, uh, for the input 0, the transition from C is also equal to F. And the transition from H is also equal to F. Which means, we are going to have the same transition for the input 0 from both the states C and H. So, for the first input, the transitions from both the states, the pair, what, what pair you have taken, it is C comma H. From the states C and H are going to be same. So because it is same, what we do it is we mark it as to be equal. So for one input it is same. We have to consider for the next input also. What is the next input that we are going to have? It is 1, obviously. right? So from C, when it is 1, you go to the state T. And from H, when it is to be uh, 1, you are going to go to the state E. Again, you can note from the state C and H, upon reading the input 1, we are going to reach the same state E. Right? From both the states, C and H, when you are going to read the input 1, you are going to have the state E. So, you are going to mark this to be equal. Right? So, this is how we are pairing boson. Now, we go for the next state. D. We are going to pair with the state D. What are the states that we need to pair normal? The remaining part is like D comma F, D comma G and D comma H. Right? D comma F, D comma G and D comma H. So now we will go for D and F. So what are the transitions upon D? Mark? When it is D, if it is 0, you go to the final state E. And when it is F, 1, you go to the state F. So D is equal to 0 comma 1, it means it is E comma F. So just check whether E comma F, that particular state, is if you are able to reach to the final state, right? So because you are able to reach to the final state, it means it, is, it becomes indistinguishable. So even then, we we'll let us uh, have a look for uh, F also. So what is the pair for F now? If it is 0, you, you have in the same state 0 itself. And when it is going to be... And when it is going to be F, so 1 from F, on the transition 0, you go to the state F. And when you have the transition as 1, you go to the state D. So what will be the transition for 0, 1? It is going to be F, D. So even F is not going to be the final state. And also, B is also not going to be the final state. So since it is not going to be there in the final state, we don't mark that. And now we go for the next pair. What is the next pair that we have? It is D and G. Right? 
So now have a clear look what we have done for C comma H. We have taken 0 comma 1 the transition. The same way we will compare here also so that it will be clear for you to understand. Right. So from C what it is from sorry from G we will identify the transitions for 0 and 1. Where is the G here ma? This G. From G if it is 0 so you go to the state E. And if it is 1, you go to the state F. Right? So now, how do we represent the transitions for checking it now? So it's G space 0, 1. So it means the input we are going to read from the state G are 0, 1. And what will be the output that you are going to receive? It is going to be E and F. Right? So from the state G, if you are going to read the state 0, 1, we are going to have uh, the transitions to E comma F. Just remember this. We will go for the next uh, state in the path. Okay. So we will remember that from the state G, if the transitions are going to be 0 and 1, we are going to have the, the inputs are 0 comma 1, the transitions are going to be E comma F. Now we are going to identify what are the transitions for D. So from D, when it is 0, we are going to go to the state E and when it is 1, we are going to go to the state F. So, what is the parameter that you are going to read? It is D from the state D. The transitions that, you are, that are going to take place, it is 0 and 1. So, D is 0, 1. What are the states that you will have? It is E and F. Right? So, the pair that you are going to have is D and G. So, from D and G, for the state D, you are going to have, uh, you are going to read the input 0, 1. Upon reading 0, 1, you are going to have uh, the transitions like E, F. Means from state G, if you are going to read the state uh, inputs 0 and 1, you are going to reach the states E and F. Similarly, from the next pair that you are going to read, it is D. From D, if you are going to have the states the inputs 0 and 1, we are going to have E, F. Right? So, this is what uh, you are going to see. So, what will be the pair again? Repeat me. G it is from 0, 1, you are going to have E, 1, E, F. Similarly, from D, if it is 0, 1, you are going to have E, F. So, what are the pair? It is E, F for G also and for D also. Since from, for the same input, you are going to have the same transitions but from two different states, from G and D. So you call that these two states to be equal. G and D are equal. Now we will go for the next pair. What is the next pair we have? D and H. So what is the pair for D1? D, if it is 0, you go for E. And if it is 1, you go for F. And what is the other pair that you have? It is H. So when it is H, you go for E and F. Now take a look over here. So here for 0, you go for E and for 1, it is F. But for H, it is the exact reverse. When you go for 0, it is F. And when it is 1, you go for E. Right? So you can see that from D also, you have the transitions to E and F. From H also, you have the transitions to E and F. Right? From D also, the transitions are to which states now? E and F. Similarly, from state H, what are the transitions that you have? It is to E and F, but on different inputs. When you reach from D to E, you reach on reading this input 0. But from H to E, when you are going to read now, upon reading a different input. So it is, you have to consider both the things. You have to reach the same state upon reading the same input. You are reading a different input, but reaching the same state, it doesn't help you out. So you mark that as D and H to be not distinguishable. Right? And now we will go for the next pair. Next pair is going to be F. We are going to pair with F. So with F, if it is 0, uh, you are going to have F. Uh, if it is 0, you are going to go to the state F. If it is going to be 1, you are going to uh, go to the state B. So if it is from state F, if it is 0, you are going to go for the state F. And if it is 1, you are going to go to the state D. Right? And what is 
the next rate that you have on G. What is G from G? If it is 0, you reach the final state B. And if it is 1, you go to the state F. Right? So F comma G, you must put this mean 2 because they don't go to the same states at all. So now we go for the next pair F and H. From F, upon reading 0, you are going to have F. And upon reading 1, you are going to go to the state B. Right. And upon reading H, if it is 0, you go to the state F. And if it is 1, you go to the final state. So here uh, you can see that you don't have a common state at all. From 0 and 1, you do have different uh, transitions. Like from F, if it is 0, you go to F. Okay, fine. And from H, if it is 0, you go to F. Okay, so the transitions upon 0, it is going to be same for F and H. But what about the transitions on one mark? From F, if the transition is 1, you go to the state B. But from H, if the transition is 1, you go to the state E. Like for the, we have two different alphabets. For both the alphabets, you should have the same transitions. But here, for one alphabet, the transition is same. And for the other alphabet, the transition is different. So we do not tell that these two states to be same. Okay. So we go for the next pair now, H comma G. So H comma G is uh, H comma G is going to be the pair from H. If it is zero, you go to the state F. From H, if it is going to be one, you go to the state E. So from G, if the state is going to be zero, you go to the state H. And if Sorry. If it is going to be from G, if, it is, if the state is 0, you go to the state E, and if it is 1, you go to the state F. And from H, when it is 0, you go to the state 1, and if it is 1, you go to the state E. So, similar pair we have seen already. You can take the example once again now. So, from G also, you are, able, you are reaching E and F. From H also, you are reaching E and F. But what happens? From G, you are reaching E upon reading 0. But from H, you are re reaching E upon reading 1. So here, the state, the transition is uh, same, but upon reading a different input. Right? You are not going to have the same transition for the same input. With the different input, you are going to have. So the mark has to be not equal. So now, we do have some set of facts that we have not marked as equal also. And we have not marked them to be distinguishable states also. So what I do is either I have to uh, recheck first from the beginning. If it is A comma F, so check with the transitions for A and F. So for A, if it is zero, it is to C, and if it is one, it is to D. So what is the transition? It will be C comma D. So now check whether C comma D you have marked it as equal or not. So where is the pair C comma D? Good. Has, you have been if we have marked C comma D to be not uh, equal. Okay, so C and D are not equal because that transition is not equal, so we cannot tell A and F to be equal. Okay, so from A it is not equal. So check the transition for F. For F, if it is this one, so you will have zero and one. Okay, so zero means F and one it is B. So now check for the uh, transition F comma B. Where is F comma B? So B comma F, that is also you have marked, you have made this blank. So we cannot do anything. So this has to be left uh, blank itself. Right? So in the next thing you can check. So this is not marked. So we, we, that is, you told that it is not equal. So we have made it to be not equal. And now go for the next transition B comma F. What is the transition for B mark? It is H and D. Check for the pair H comma D. H comma D. H, it is here, D. H and D is not same. And what is the next state in the path? It is A. From A, what is the transition? It is C comma D. Check for C comma D. C comma D is also not equal. So I am going to mark this to be not equal itself. Right. And now we will go for A comma B. Find the transition. From A comma B, if it is C comma D, it will be or it will be uh, D comma H. Right. C comma D and D comma H. So that pair to be marked it has to be equal. So we will tell that A and B is also equal now. Right. 
So now after telling that is to state that he is well, what I have to do? Okay, I have to I have to tell what are the states that have been equal. A state A is equal to B, and state C is equal to H, and state D is equal to G. So now I can reduce these states. So instead of wherever I have A, I rename all those states to be B, and all the transitions also to B. Or in the reverse, you can do wherever I have state B, I can rename it as A, and I can rename all the transitions to A. Similarly for C and H. So for C, I am going to rename it to uh, H, or from H, I am going to rename it to C, and including all the transitions also. Right. So after uh, renaming the transitions, we do we do look like this. From G, there is no incoming arrow, so you can directly eliminate this. And from H, I am going to eliminate. So while eliminate, okay. So we'll go, uh, while eliminating this, what happens? So you have one incoming arrow to H. That is from B. So what I do is from B, I make this to E directly. Okay. So that also I do. And the next part that I'm going to remove it is B. Okay. So instead of B, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that from A. So from F, if it is to B, I'm going to make it as F to A. So the transition will be like from F to so after minimizing the state, how many states we have find that are equal to six states? So this from this part three states we can remove. So means from eight states we have reduced it to the five states. So here the number of states have been reduced so that you can minimize the number of states here. So in this way you tell that this DFA is equal to this one even after minimizing the number of states. Okay. Thank you.